I'd like to look here at using BandMath within MV to perform radiometric correction or in particular converting Landsat 5 thematic mapper digital numbers to at sensor radiance values. So I've already got a Landsat 5 image open up and this has been opened using the ex import external file option so it's, it's already been brought in with its metadata and it's here listed here in the available bands list acquired on the 17th of October 2009. Now if I go up to basic tools and over to band math um, we've got a little window that opens up and this allows us to enter any equation that we like in this in this line just here where it's white. Now I'm going to enter the equation for conversion of band 1 digital numbers um, to um, at sensor radiance and I can just simply type that in there which I've pulled in um, from notepad. So you have a look here I've got 193 plus 1.52 and in brackets uh, the division sign 255 minus 1 also enclosed in brackets uh, multiplication and this value here B1 is what we're going to input as our digital numbers or the band 1 of our image data there. Um, we minus 1 there, we're all in brackets, and minus 1.52 and that comes directly from the Chanda article and other other articles that have this atmospheric, that have the radiometric correction listed in there as well. So once you've entered that equation all you need to do is press OK and then what it does is it's, it's now asking me, OK so I've got a variable in that equation which is B1 and what exactly is B1 referring to? Well that's simply our Landsat thematic mapper band 1 so all I need to do is click on that there and you'll see that it pops up up the top there so it says B1 is Landsat band 1 if you clicked on the wrong one you can easily change that okay as you see that I move those down that value up there changes but we click on band 1 there then all you need to do is leave all the defaults as they are and then choose an output file name so navigate to your nav navigate to your output directory there choose an output file name and click OK I won't do that as I've already performed it to save some time here so once you've done that that will run and you'll come up with a, a new file in your available bands list which you can open up to a new display and you'll see in the in the band name there it gives you the equation that you've used to make that correction. And so I've only performed it on one band, so this is a grayscale image of band one, um, and you'll be able to query the value simply by right clicking and looking at cursor location, um, and that will give you the, the at sensor radiance values.